Hello friends, welcome to BSC Digital Chess. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to click the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. So let's go to the video. In this video, we are going to see a product of cultivation and secondary agriculture. So in this in chat, in this I am going to cover introduction to product of cultivation as well as the need, advantage and limitations and the present status about product of cultivation for what with the crops. It was the lecture I'm, you are going to see now. So I will give a short intro about the horticulture crops and their productive cultivation. So in, in India there is a wide range of diverse agricultural conditions. So the vegetative cultivation practice has been generally restricted to south regions as well as the seasonal needs. Almost productive cultivation has increased up to the level of 90.9 million tonnes from an area of 6.3 million hectares from the year 2001. So in several parts of the country, especially in northern plains, the soils are very highly fertile. But because of the extreme temperature ranging from 0 to 48 degrees Celsius, the cultivation all around the year is said to be impossible. So the outdoor vegetation cultivation was not occurred here all around the year. So the India has entered into a greenhouse vegetable cultivation most recently and total and productive cultivation is not more than 10,000 hectares is the current situation in India. So, after knowing the intro about the productive condition of the crops, let's move to the definition. So, what is productive condition? So, productive condition is nothing but the modification of the natural environment to achieve the optimum plant growth. So, by modifying the needs, by modifying the environment for the needs of the plant, we can be able to make the both the aerial and root environment to increase the crop yields as well as extend the growing season and permits growth during the periods of the year so which was not commonly grown in the outdoor cultivation so it's for the definition of productive cultivation and the other definition is where the productive cultivation may also include the sorry um, where the production cultivation may also a comprehensive system of controlled environmental agriculture which is shortly known as CEA in which all aspects of the natural environment are modified for the maximum plant growth and the economic return of the plants. So while seeing the present scenario of productive cultivation, so the productive cultivations are used to overcome low temperature in temperate regions or high temperature in the countries having tropical climate. So it was the present scenario. So the need of productive structures which is directly dependent upon the climate of the region and growing season and the kinds of crop to be grown in that particular area. It's how the need for the productive structures is known. And the productive cultivation technologies are being utilized all over the world, but the level and extent of their use was made mainly different among different countries. So in developed countries, the productive cultivation usage is said to be high rather than compared to developing and undeveloped countries. So while seeing the state of greenhouse for the horticulture crop production in different countries, so the limited area around the world are endowed with favorable environment for the outdoor crop production. So the other option is so using the productive structures for the world. So greenhouse are the permanent productive structures which is being used for the horticulture crop production in several countries of the world. So while seeing that there is a tremendous increase in area under greenhouse cultivation of the crop, horticulture crops in most countries around the top two regions. So after that while seeing in China and Japan, Spain and Italy are head of productive cultivation horticulture crops in greenhouses. So they are said to be a way ahead greater than the developing countries. So the area under greenhouse cultivation of horticulture crop is not more than just 1000 hectares and it's confirmed to be in Maharashtra and Karnataka where the leading states which is using greenhouse cultivation for horticulture crop production. So, and there is a lot of potential increase in the area under low cost greenhouse manifold in very urban areas of the country for producing of high valuable vegetables during off season to take the benefits of high price of the produce. This is how the um, process is taking place or else. So in that we are able to classify the greenhouse into high tech as well as low. Uh, so first of all I am going to tell you high tech or climate controlled greenhouse that you can be able to control each and every needs of the plant of the environment which we can be able to view for the particular cultivation period of the crop. So the evaporative cooling and heaters are used to maintain 
so rapid temperature inside greenhouse spaces and when needed they are said to be altered by the in the high tech greenhouses so the climate is usually accomplished through the automatic system which is present in the high tech greenhouses so the such type of greenhouses usually to have growing high value blemish free crops like tomato cherry tomato sweet pepper and cucumber for a long period so they used to have particular suitable environment for the crop to grow in a well exhaust manner so the greenhouse which is mainly mostly used for long duration cultivation of tomato and sweet pepper over a period of time for the particular area so the greenhouse made up of plastic except the glass house in netherlands so the in netherlands they are mainly using the glass house for the growing of crops where the place is full of the cooler cooler conditions so they made of glass houses and in under glass house and decked plastic house are longer life structures and are therefore mostly located in cold regions where these structures can be used for the crop production through the year in the year so after high tech the next stage which is semi climate controlled green houses so in this green houses we can able to maintain a favorable temperature and humidity for the crop up to a particular level so they used to contain a galvanized iron pipes climate controlling green house with exhaust fans with a operating cooling pads so these are mainly used for maintaining favorable temperature and humidity only during summer for these crops so these types of uh, green houses are mainly suitable for vegetable cultivation in mild winter or during mild summer so the critical con- in critical conditions we can be able to use this system so after that the third one which is the low cost greenhouse as well as the or the natural ventilated greenhouses so these are the simple construction greenhouses with initial investment so the frame of the galvanized pipe will logs and there is no heating or cooling system which is not provided by the forest structure so the top of the greenhouse can be covered with plastic or and the side walls may be insert proof net and uh, from ground ground to the height of 1.5 to 2 meter so all the manure low level plastic cover is to be used in this greenhouse so these initial cost of the greenhouse is less than half of that of semi controlled greenhouses so after that greenhouses we can able to see the plastic low tunnels which is an all changeable of greenhouses so plastic low tunnels are which is a Low crops simply low cost structures for off season production of vegetables in local field. So they are flexibly transparent covering that they are installed over single or multiple rows of vegetable crops during winter season to enhance the plant growth. So they can be easily removable as the microclimate conditions around the plants get continually warm for the plants. And there is low tunnels can be supported over a plant using hoop of wires. and a transparent or white plastic is stretched over the hoops and the sides are secured with basic it in the soil so it's how the low sheet uh, panel works and the uh, plastic of the tunnel can be mentored during the cross season as the temperature increases within the tunnel environment so the since the construction and dismantling of the facilities occur frequently so therefore the statical data are less variable than poor structures like greenhouse glasses and uh, walking tunnels etc so the china used to have the largest area under plastic floor tunnels for followed by japan and the other european countries are following these plastic floor tunnels so and in india all through the year on the plastic floor tunnels there are about more than not more than 1000 meters are said to be cultivated and highly profitable for off season growing of vegetables in peri urban areas of north of things as well as the cold deserts and the hill states of much of pradesh and the pradesh so important technology of off season cultivation uh, cocoa bits and low plastic tunnels has been standardized by indo estate project at indian agricultural university which is present at new delhi as well as the commercial cultivation of vegetable crops during off season was mainly improving in this plastic to tunnels by this iar and the other one is the stacks of floating mulch or a floating row cover so the floating row or temporary and low cost product structures that there is no mechanical support or hoop of wires so which way we may may be provided production against adverse temperature conditions for the seasonal cultivation of several crops especially tender ones in season vegetables to 
advance the maturity as well as improve quality and extent of growing season and uh, so the floating mulch or row, row crops are made of spun spun bundle of non woven fabrics which can be used to cover either a single row or multiple sub row the floating covers have a minimal effect on temperature and the light and for self pollination vegetable crops and leaf vegetables the floating cover can be kept on the entire duration of the crop so the structure can also be used in india for the out of season production of cocoa beans in periyar materials to catch early markets and the stacks of use of plastic mulches so mulching is the practice of covering soil around the plant with an organic or synthetic material to make additions which is more favorable for plant growth as well as development and crop production the plastic mulches are very much used as well as the proper selection of plastic mulch composition color and thickness and it is possible to precisely control the soil environment for this process so the plastic mulch uh, black plastic mulch is mostly used during summer season for the soil moisture conservation and weed control various the transparent mulch of 30 to 40 micron is largely used during winter to increase the soil temperature as well as the microclimate of plants to protect against cold as well as the color the mulches are used for the reduce insect infestation so the prospecting strategy is using these are so the product pollution or undoubtedly offers several advantages to grow a vegetable of high quality even under unfavorable conditions in many areas so the production system however requires high spots and as well as the good management and the indigenous technology database needed to be sounded to make the adaptation of product cultivation sustains is to be near so the cost effective designs of greenhouse and the manufacturing based on location specific needed to be taken for the cultivation the package practices of including fertigation needed to be worked out for different agricultural conditions and situations so the development of suitable for product cultivation requires an immediate attention and efforts to be reduce the dependence or imported seeds in the sector so a major concern is the disposal of used plastic and therefore a need generation biodegradable polymers and need to be developed in this field so after the prospect uh, strategies and prospect so now we are going to see about the advantages of product cultivation so whatever the crop the vegetable crops can be grown in any unfavorable conditions also they used to can grow all around the year so the crop yield is said to be higher than those of open field conditions they used to produce a quality and superior produce and the high input use efficiencies are achieved in this product cultivation and the management of insects as well as pest disease weeds etc is easier under the product cultivation and the agriculture income per unit area increases during this product cultivation it provides an external opportunity for the vegetables for export quality as well as the product structures are ideally suitable for genetically engineering crops as well as micro propagated vegetable varieties and hybrids so which is more suitable in product cultivation than in open field open fields so while seeing what are the constraints in this product cultivation they use it to have a high basic cost and the operational cost so in when there is a irregular power supply they use it to lag as well as causes problem in the area so little work on designation of uh, structure for different locations are re- needed and to be known so the quality of cladding material and the non availability lack of technology and uh, indigenous technology for the zone is also one of the major problems in this particular location they are used to have a lack of suitable varieties and hybrid for greenhouse cultivation so because all the crops cannot be grown in the particular cultivation with high yield so they can be grown but to have a high yield the suitable variety of hybrids for the greenhouse is to be needed so the exotic seeds from other countries are which is very costly so buying for a minimal farmer is said to be impossible for the one and the poor performance of indigenous varieties where the traditional varieties um, where they can be successful on particular product cultivation but they cannot be successful on all the ones so it is one of the major problem so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have any notes please comment in the section if you like the video like it and share with your friends and subscribe to bsa cricketer the bell icon to get regular updates from our channel so thanks for watching the video thank you i will catch you in the next video